right, so it's like 10 p.m. Uh, just arriving to uh, the ferry terminal now. Been up since 4.30 a.m., had four hours of sleep. I'm really tired now. I'll go try to sleep on one of those plastic benches at the terminal or something. Warm and dry, because it's been raining for the past little while. At least I managed to stay warm, but I don't want to spend the night outside, so find a spot inside somewhere nice, cozy, comfort. Well, we'll see about that, but warm and dry is what's important right now. All right, let's go to bed. I'm done. This is Pan Celtic race number one on the short course. We've been on the, on the road for about 30 minutes and already look at this beautiful scenery. Should be one hell of a ride. The sun's out, can't believe it. We've been in Scotland for three days now, have not seen the sun. And as soon as we hit the road this morning, the sun came out. Should be one hell of a beautiful ride. Riding on the side of the road, there's a car that came pretty close, and I got kind of got pushed into uh, got pushed into the gutter on the side, and my wheel got stuck, fell on the side. Anyway, not really injured, not bleeding or anything. Just kind of crushed my thigh. We'll see how it is, but yeah, nah, just keep going, keep going, keep going. So my leg is hurting pretty bad, but I just had the best fish and chip of my life in a little pub by the ocean. And this is absolutely crazy nice here. Just look at this valley, so amazing. So, so nice. So my front chain derailed and um, somehow it managed to get caught between uh, 
the chain ring and the crank but there's a pin here that's supposed to pre prevent it from doing this but somehow it got through but because the pin is there I can't get it out so I'm gonna need to break the chain and uh, uh, yeah just thread it out and then uh, fix the chain links great and I was running late for the ferry definitely gonna miss it now good times Let's face it, I underestimated the amount of climbing that would be required. Up, up, up and up we go. Up, up, up and up we go. Uh, Four hours of sleep last night. Got out at 5 a.m. Probably around, uh, around 6 30 or 7 pm now. Can't wait to get to the ferry terminal and crash in there for the night. Still like, I don't know, 70 kilometers to go. This is kind of stupid. Anyway, let's try to find a pub and we'll grab dinner. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. It just keeps on going up. The only good thing is that the ferry requires water, and water is the ocean, which means we're gonna go down. Down, 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 and down we'll go. Eventually. Turns out I, well, I managed to grab the uh, the 11:30 ferry that was supposed to be uh, for freight only, so bicycle is not allowed. Only problem is that I ended up in the city at 3 a.m. with four hours of sleep the night before. I managed to put one hour of sleep on the boat. So uh, anyway, I found a room to sleep, sleep in for a few hours, five hours in Belfast. Uh, yeah, so uh, this well, this morning, afternoon, it was just a few, like uh, 90 kilometers down to Ireland. Now I've just crossed to Ireland and uh, kicks it up with nice, uh, nice climb. So stop talking, catch my breath and uh, carry on the mountains. Let's go.
am now in Wales. I arrived last night uh, on the uh, 6 p.m. ferry connecting uh, Rosslare to Fishguard. So we rode for about, uh, we, uh, well, me and Jacob, we were on the ferry together, we decided to ride into the night a bit. Rode for about an hour, then uh, found a camp spot in a uh, cemetery by an old church. Seems like it's the best places to, uh, it's amongst uh, one of the best places to camp along the routes, uh, lots of cemeteries and church and stuff. And uh, yeah, nobody goes there at night for some reason. Anyway, so that's good for us. Now, uh, should be about two days out from the finish line. It's 400 kilometers, but the, the elevation gain is pretty crazy. So just ride as far as I can tonight and uh, same day for tomorrow. Let's go find breakfast. due to rock fall so we had to climb this stupidly steep hill why is the last hill always the hardest one anyway only like six kilometers left to go I'm ready for a beer now holy I could have done without that climb okay. at least it's beautiful up here Ugh. but I'm tired Look at this. 